just nearly saw all of my notes there, didn't you everyone? Ah, how is everyone? Everyone alright? I'm just turning that music down. Lovely to see you all. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you all today. Make sure that music's disappeared before I start talking. I hope you're all well everyone. Lovely to see you all. Let's just get a bit of a tidy station here. Give people a couple of minutes to come and say hello. I've enlarged the comments on all screens so I'm literally like good to go. I can read it all now so please if you're a brand new I saw Christmas. Did you? Oh yay! Um, if you're brand new and you are a newbie put I'm a newbie and we'll give you a shout out. We love to see new faces on the How To Craft Network studio. So if you are tuning in for the first time, my name is Tony Derrick and this is Studio 3 where things are a little bit more relaxed. Always professional though. Uh, no drinking, no swearing. Well, um, yeah, it's a lovely relaxed environment where we can maybe go through technique. We do lots of product preview and we talk about any industry news that um, we know of or good things that are coming up, whether it be my brand, another brand. And we always try and promote other brands as well um, and give them a little bit of airtime, should we say, to promote their lovely companies as well. So you will be seeing a few companies zooming in on Studio 3, which is fabulous. Um, we're in talks about that now, so it's all going to be just amazing. So if you are watching right now, kick your slippers on or off, grab a cup of tea or a drink, because we're doing some painting this evening. Now, predominantly, we do a lot of paper craft. We've been making albums and giftables. But I'm trying to mix it up a little bit because I did say originally it would be watercolouring but we've just done paper craft, paper craft, paper craft so I'm going to throw in a couple of watercolouring pieces as well so you get an eclectic mix so maybe you want to come and say hi and do both maybe you just want to do paper craft or watercolouring or maybe you just want to come and have a chat with your lovely friends so <laughs> no drinking so if you are not familiar with who I am my name is Tony Darrick and our How To Craft Network Studio is just a fabulous channel which inspires crafters who maybe have bought our products or just want some inspiration with any other branded products. But it's just a lovely family, so come and say hello. I will do a little shout out in a second. I have a few um, platforms to run here because they just have USA, uh, stamps by me, YouTube. So if you are wanting to interact um, and say hello, the best place to go is YouTube, okay? Because just everybody just loves to talk on YouTube. If you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button. Click that like button if you would be um, so kind as to click that. If you like the show, click the heart. And I have a giveaway, as always, for anybody that pops a comment underneath this live video when I've gone off air. Not whilst I'm live, when I've gone off air. But I also... Um, do when I do product previews we do do live giveaways and I'll talk about that in a second but there's no product preview as such tonight should we say um, so the giveaway will be for anybody who drops a comment underneath the video I've got a lot to talk about um, let's do a shout out just one second so let me just jump on the um, Stamps by Me USA page hi Brenda lovely to see you hi Heidi Hi Sandra, well my gosh, oh, you know my eyes are so bad, it's lovely for you to come and say hello ladies and gents, because I know a lot of you watching don't comment, you do message me to let me know you watch every time, but don't comment. Couple of things I want to talk about, Create Together Club, over a thousand members in the club, hopefully you'll get your stamp by the end of this week, fingers crossed. The inspiration for Create Together Club starts on Monday and it's the final stamp of the three. If you want to join in the fabulous Create Together Club, it's like, I don't like to call things subscriptions, but it's just like a lovely group of people who um, purchase the Create Together Club and we send you three stamps over the course of so many months and we do a week's worth of inspiration for each stamp. So if you are wanting to buy it now, you'll be sent all three and you'll have to go back and watch the other two's inspirations, okay? they are on YouTube so you get a week of inspiration on one stamp set so I try and show you so many different ways to show you that when we buy these products you really can get the most out of them and use them more than once so Monday's inspiration starts for the third and final stamp and that's on for a week now I have my notebook here I have a busy week so 
I have a lot of things to tell you about. So I am starting Create Together Club Monday and you're probably thinking, gosh, that's a bit quick. But the last one was late, if you remember, very, very late. So it looks like they've come quite quickly. But if I can't, if I didn't have done it on the 10th, it would have been at least another month. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get it in on the 10th. So in the 10th, on the Friday, sorry, I say the 10th. It's actually the Monday, which I believe is the 13th. I believe. So anyway, it starts this coming Monday. But the Friday I'm on TV. So obviously I can't do the Create Together Club. So rather than do a pre-record, because I know a lot of you didn't like me doing the pre-record, we'll play catch up. Okay. So whatever you're doing, if you are in the Create Together Club, it starts this Monday, 1 p.m. Get your stamp ready. Okay. If you're wanting to craft along. Or if you just watch for the inspiration and then catch up, absolutely fine. But I'm going to show you lots of different, and I know lots of you like it as well, because you've all been commenting on Facebook, which is super cool. Different, isn't it? I told you all it was different, so let's do a little shout out. So, right. Hi, Jan. Oh, hi, Dorothy Black. Hi, Tony. Just made it tonight. She's received a stamp and it's fab fabulous. Thank you so much. Well done, Dor Dorothy. I do miss you all. Hope to see you all soon. Hi Rosie Beaumont, uh, hi Lindsay, it's the 13th, thank you, that's Monday. Shirley Ramsey, she's, she hasn't opened hers but she's seen it and she says it's beautiful. Barbara Kelly, Barbarella, hi Glynis, hi Valerie, hi Leslie, from Good Timing, Scotland School, stop early, earlier than England, Jane, uh, Crikey, Glynny, I'll, I'll just let it just catch up a little bit because it's sending my vertigo absolutely crazy as always. And so excited about Create Together Club, Heidi. Uh, hi Brenda, hi, uh, he, hi Heidi. So if you want to share this video, that would be appreciated because sometimes some people need that nudge to let them know. And there is a little bell on YouTube which always gives you that notification when we are going to go live anyway. So you'll always get the updates whether you do or you don't, you just swipe it away if you're not interested. Oh, don't click the bell. Not had mine yet, Anita. It's coming, sweetheart. The reason why I couldn't do studio today was because we had to get those stamps out of the door today. I couldn't risk people not getting them by Monday. So I had to stay with the girls and get them all out the door today. So hopefully everybody will have them Monday. Fingers crossed. I'm telling you, it takes a long time to get through these orders. And we've had two TV shows Emma, then mine, which sold out in 40 minutes. Thousands and thousands of units. Bearing in mind, I've got three girls, one of which has just come back from maternity, and all the systems have changed since we came from Create and Craft to new Create and Craft. So she's getting trained. Oh, anyway, it is what it is. So Pat's away till Wednesday, hoping to catch up. Got your stamp today, Rosemary. Well done. Kay's still waiting for hers. I'm not sure, Kay, if they're done in alphabetical order. So Kay Thorne. I think yours might have gone today, sweetheart. Mm, not sure. I'm not sure if it is. Because I did see one at Lady said she'd not got hers. And I think her surname began with A. So the girls know better than me. I'm just there. And I just stand there and go, where do you need me? And they'll go, right, there's a pile there. These are the names. I'm like, right, okay. I just do as I'm told. Literally, I'm not joking. I'm do I can do as I'm told. So Christy's got her notification today. Right, it's lovely to see you. I don't want to talk too much because we've got quite a nice session. So... Create Together Club starts Monday. Get ready for that. What else have I got to tell you about? So, on, so we're live today. And then on Friday, I'm live in studio at 1pm, as normal, Friday. And then Sunday, we are exhibiting at the Doncaster Show, okay? You know the Doncaster Show, the witchcraft show? It's the first time we've ever done the show. So I'm hoping a lot of you, if you can, come and say hello. It's going to be Tony, Tim and Tom. We've got a massive stand, 11 metre stand. Who thinks up these things? I don't know. But we've got an 11 metre stand with lots of goodies on there. So come and say hello. It's inexpensive to get in. The tickets are inexpensive as well. Parking's free. So have a look on the Witchcraft website um, and get your tickets on there. It's, I think it's called Stamparama. I'm not sure. But it's on my website as well and it's on all of my social media pages. But it's this coming Sunday. So it would be lovely if you could come and say hello. So that's Sunday. Then, I hope you've all got your pens. Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Like no rest for the wicked. Sunday night at 7 o'clock I have a face... 
Facebook Live. I'm telling Fibs I have Studio 3. Let me just go. Oh, you're all commenting and I'm missing. I'm so sorry. I will I will get to all of the comments. There's just so many of you on. So Sunday night at 7 o'clock, I have a product preview for a brand new launch on Creating Craft on Tuesday evening. Okay. Tuesday evening, I believe. 14th and the 15th on Creating Craft, a one-day special. But don't worry, I'll still be doing the one o'clock show on Tuesday. Um, we might have to move the Wednesday one to Wednesday evening, but I will keep you posted. I don't want to overwhelm you. Just, oh, Christy is in Texas. Oh, crikey, can't join me. Oh, Christy, I'll come to you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Monday Create Together, Tuesday Create and Craft. But Sunday night, 7 p.m. Studio 3, showing you some brand new goodies. And it's a one-day special on Creating Craft, Tuesday and Wednesday. But I'll not overwhelm you. All you need to remember is Friday, 1 o'clock. Okay. <sighs> that was getting smart, wasn't it? Let me. I've got my to-do list here, look. Right, so lots of you have been asking about Christmas as well. Now, what happened with Christmas was, very quickly, I'll not bore you all, we were asked to... Um, to do the opening show actually which was really really lovely however we can't we have commitments which is very sad because i always like to do the opening show we've done it for a few years on the old creating craft however we can't do it so we have been allocated the 29th for our christmas event however i will be completely honest and not that i'm ever not honest but the 29th I've had to ask TV to change or give me more hours because the show is massive. And I feel like the first hour is just going to get me down the counter. I don't even think I'll even get to a demo there is that much brand new Christmas product. So I'm in conversation with um, Create and Craft in the hope they can give me some more hours. I'll keep you posted on that. Either way, we'll start doing um, some sneaky peeks. We've actually got a sneaky peek tonight, but we're going to do some sneaky peeks um when the event starts okay so it's different if you liked our launch last year and didn't manage to get the pine cones the baubles and all of the other bits and pieces they're all back it's a massive show guys i cannot tell you so let's get into demo this is why you're all here so if you are crafting along you're going to need some oh pat's the first time she's missed the witchcraft show it hasn't been on for three years you know it's the first time i've done it so it should be good um, so you're going to need some watercolour card, an embossing folder. You need to run an embossing folder through a machine on watercolour card if it's preferred. But if you've only got normal card, don't worry about it. And we're going to do some abstracty painting today. So we've done lots of watercolour embossing folders um, and we've painted, the, we've painted them all. Um, amazing. We love to walk. That's why they're called watercolour embossing folders. But you've, you've all been painting along with me since, oh, I don't know, 2019, whenever it's maybe. You might want to go back and check out those videos because there's some really, really cool ones. Um, but tonight we're going to do the poinsettia, which is the Christmas one, which is back in stock and is back on Create and Craft on the new Christmas launch. So if you missed out, it's back in stock. Please don't worry, though, we've got loads of stock. Um, got lot, yeah. I said I got loads of stock of stencils. I did have though. I had loads of those. But I have. We've got lots of stock, so I don't think there's panic. And because we've already done it once before, I can have confidence knowing you'll have enough. Um, right, so if you are painting, you're going to need some watercolours, a paintbrush and some water. Let's just bring all of these bits and pieces in because we're 15 minutes into the show and I aren't shut up. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's right, Karen. It's different and brand new product this year. But I've built it so it works with last year. So if you know you want to use both, because I'm a big fan of using our earlier products. Last year's are not redundant. What I've done this year works with last year's as well. And the design team are doing a fabulous job at um, showing you how well they work together. Now I'm just going to take my bracelet off because it's going to clank and clunk on this glass mat, causing me pain. If you haven't prepared the poinsettia, prepare any one. Some of you may not have it. However, it is available on the website, this one, if you if you do like this one. But equally, it will be in the Create and Craft Show too. But anybody's embossing folders, there's some incredible embossing folders on the market at the moment. Um, so use what you've got in your stash. We're not precious about it. Right, so let me just show you. Um, I did post a picture of this one, and it's super, super simple. Have a quick look, guys. 
So rather than our traditional painting that we've done several times, if, in fact, I can't even count how many times we've painted embossing folders, but more than, rather than just traditional, we've gone abstracted today. So I just wanted to maybe show you how I do these sort of very forgiving looks without hard work and effort. And even if you're not a painter, um, you can achieve these sort of really cool looks. So Elaine's question, hi Tony, do you only launch Christmas on Creating Craft or HTCN? So, good question Elaine, very quickly. Um, our actual main collection is going to Create and Craft, however I have three other Christmas collections just for us and HTCN. So I'm doing four, I shouldn't really be telling you, four Christmas launches this year. So last year we did two, this year we're doing four. So two I think we'll probably go to telly and two will go to how to craft network now one of which i'll tell you is our christmas washi tape in htcn that's all i'm going to say moving on so so susan's put i use the pine cone dyes along with lisa, lisa horton's 3d pine cone embossing folders for some of last year's cards amazing amazing well done sweetheart um Loved the embossing folders last year, yeah. Uh, Jan, I'm absolutely ignoring you right now. That glass mat. Ah! I'll let you know, though. Right, let's get on. So, I have... Um, let me just show you. So, the giveaway, okay, after today's show is going to be these two embossing folders. So, all you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video, and I'm going to give these two embossing folders away. So, this is the one that's back in stock. This is the Christmas poinsettia. Now, you're getting a taste of what's coming this year. I'll show you on the back because that's what it looks like when you emboss it. Hopefully you can see that there. Absolutely gorgeous. Yay, Christmas washi. OMG. I shouldn't even... Oh, my son. OMG. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to get him to not say that, and I'm saying it on live. Um, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So here we go, look. So this is the poinsettia back in stock, okay? And then I'm going to give away also the Dancing Dahlia. Now, these are two of our most popular, popular... Um, 3D watercolour embossing folders okay so all you need to do is pop a comment after I've gone off air on this video so let's show you them um, hopefully let me just um, pop this up here look hopefully if I tilt this in can we see that embossing there I think you'll be able to see it on the back too it's absolutely incredible sorry I don't think the light is sunshiny today so we're getting a lot of light which I'm not going to moan about hopefully you can see it on there so what we're going to do is we're going to paint the poinsettia and I'm just going to show you how to get this very forgiving, non-traditional Christmas card if you want to join in, okay? If you don't want to join in, just talk amongst your friends. That's that's amazing too. We're just appreciative of your company. Looking forward to Xmas washi tape. Glad it's on HTCN. Yes, it is. It is. Right, so I always paint with two cups of water. One to like wash away the ink and then a clean one to paint with, but it's personal preference, okay? There are simply no rules. We're not precious about it. You'll have your own style as everyone else does. So I can't comment after the video. Comments get turned off. Oh, okay. Um, how can we get around that? Oh, no. Denise, you are, I have seen you comment underneath, sweetheart. I think I've replied to you before. Aaron, question, are we getting the Christmas Geo heart stamps and dies? No. <laughs> Geo heart Christmas dies. I don't recollect that name. Oh my gosh. That looks gorgeous. It's not a bad effort, is it? You can personal message me if you've got any questions because it just goes too fast. I cannot keep up. And I'm scared if I... Oh, yeah, I am scared if I touch the technology. It's all just going to go black. So I try not to touch or faff. So let's play. So the great thing about watercolour in your 3d embossing folders is you've got a guide and it's just amazing so the colour will only go where the water is now we've done lots and lots of techniques with embossing folders um spraying them ink pad straight to the embossing folder and things like that but this is a little bit different and i just want to show you how easy it is so i've got a little bit of another demo going on down here so water watercolours Sorry about the state of mind. Maybe a bit of tissue to get rid of the water in your brush if you've got a lot. So let's crack on. Um, let's do it together. So the way that I do it is I always take clean, clear water, wet my brush, and then te 
take your brush with the water straight to one of the le the petals so i'm just going to paint one of the petals with water okay now it is a good idea to think about what color you're going to do because what's going to happen is like i mean i'm copying the one that i've already done but i know you guys at home are probably going to do this and then go oh what color and by the time you've decided as if you're anything like me by the time you've decided the color this is going to be dry so have a think about the colors are you doing the same as me which is pink yellow and orange or do you want to do three shades of blue three shades of green you know do them all different so let's mix some colors let's mix a red let's just pull this down so you can see what i'm doing let's mix some red so i've got three um sort of stations here let's mix some orange um let's mix some pink too actually so i've got red yellowy orange and i'm going to do some pink okay you can see my pink and purple and blues well loved can't you so they're all nicely mixed there look at state of my palette i do apologize so how many it's watercolour card, Roxanne, but if you don't have it, please don't worry, just do it on normal card because we're going for the abstracty look. The patchier, the better, in my opinion. So you really will get away with it with normal cardstock. Just move that out of the way. I think I need to sort of like do it so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Right, so. gone dry now so start again are we ready so clean water all over the the um petal leaf whatever you want to call it although that is a clean it's meant to be clear i don't know if you can see that like so it'll come to fruition just give it one second so i'm just painting the 3d raised part okay and then i'm going to take uh let's go pink i'm just going to take some of my pink and i'm just going to pop it in and watch what happens this is what's called a wet in wet technique super easy it's not hard okay so pop some pink in now you can take the pink to wherever you want to go no rules clean my brush and then shall we pick up a little bit of yellow and pop some yellow in this part then leave it absolutely leave it let it just work its magic they'll mix they'll blend a couple of techniques i want to tell you about is if you end up with a puddle on your to water down and then to water down and then you've got your mix of color and you've added that on top and you're ending up with a puddle that's like you can't you don't know what to do with this puddle it all looks a bit messy all you need to do take your brush put it onto some tissue let the tissue drink all of the excess color and water out of your brush like so I'm just going to show you on here and then swoop your brush like a like a scooping action like that on your cardstock watch what happens see that taking it all back out so if you get in a puddle do the scoop we have lots of posh names here in how to craft network do the scoop like so take it all back out if you don't like it because it's heavy or dark like so so i've done that one now i'm just going to move on to another one are we all okay so far is anybody actually painting with me yes all of our embossing folders are watercolor 3d embossing folders yeah we never i've never done a 2d embossing folder ever <laughs> i think we did these in oh i don't know when we did them 2019 i don't know i'll have to check youtube right so let's move on to another one so clean clear water remember i would say to you never do two connecting because if it's still wet they'll all just bleed into one and you'll end up with no definition or anything like that okay so twist your card around and go to one a different one so again water what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paint one poinsettia up to daisy if you get water on a bit where you don't want it to go just get some tissue and drink it up okay because the ink your watercolor palette will only go where there's water okay so if there's only if there's some water there the, the color will run into it if there's no water it can't go anywhere 
Oh yes. Oh yeah. <gasps> Denise has work soon. Oh sweetheart. Isn't it awful having to work for a living, hey? So again, clean water. So this time I'm going to chop it up a little bit. I'm going to do a bit of red this time. So let's pop red in. As soon as you pop that red in, I'll just go down the vein, maybe on this red one. Look, right to the tip. So you can see it picks up that th that 3D element there. So just See that there? Clean my brush. Take out the water. Um, let's put some yellow in maybe around the edge. And down the other end. And now you all know how to do the scoop. You're all going to be putting a scoop in every leaf now, aren't you? <laughs> so it's difficult to see the embossed area. Tried altering the light, but it's not helping. That is it. You you're struggling to see my embossed area because of the light. Do I need to hold it up for you? See there, just on a scoop. Taking it back out. Oh, Ronald. Yeah, Christmas wash it is getting launched very soon. It's here. The design team are working on it. So let's pick a different one. One that's not connecting. So I'm just adding, This is. I just like to add water first, it just helps me out. The wet in wet technique is a really, really cool technique if you've never painted before. So with this one, shall we go yellow? So I'll drop the yellow in. Pounds, pounds if you want to, whatever works for you. So we'll do yellow at the base. And then maybe some pink on the tip of the flower. Maybe take it down the side a little bit just to give it a little bit of definition. Sometimes it's nice to step away from traditional, isn't it? Hey, you see that there? And then, if you want to take all of the excess water out of your brush and then do a scoop somewhere away from you or towards you, and you can see how different they look when they're dry. And then you can go back in and add a little bit more definition, add a little bit of light and shade. I'm hoping the camera's... See that there? Is that easier to see? Hi, Emma. And then let's do some more. Let's just do a few more. So I'm just going to paint a few. Oh, that wasn't very clean water. I used the wrong water there. Never mind. So clean water... which is actually pink <laughs> and then I'm going to put some red on this one now shall we do the whole of this one in red so you can see if you did want to paint it in poinsettia colours you could absolutely do that oh Stephanie's just pulled a pot of water over her desk so I'm going to do the whole of this one red look and what I'm going to do is I'm getting a puddle. Can you see how it's like sat in a pool of water? So I'm just going to take all of the water out of my brush. And then I'm just going to scoop it out the centre. And I'll end up with like a halo in the centre of this one. However, I have lost that vein. So I'm just going to pop in that vein. that how cool is that so cool guys you need to just do it get any embossing folder like with this dahlia one do them in pink a yellow or orange just have fun with them you can use them in all the traditional embossing technique hacks whatever you want to call them but this really 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 just take you to another space so let's do a few more then and then 
I'll show you some other bits and pieces. So, clean water. What I'm going to do, actually, see how that all that's gone back in and the halo's gone? Can you see? So I'm just going to take my brush again and take it back out. Come back out. I want a little bit of a light spot on my card here, so I'm just going to... And that's this is what's known as a thirsty brush. It's dry and it's drinking all that ink, so it's called a thirsty brush. So let's just get a bit of colour on this one. So let's go a bit of yellow on this one. So don't forget, if you start to flood, do the scoop. <laughs> Angela, ew, I won't say it's hard because if some people can't do it, they may think. But honestly, I think it's just down to playing. Absolutely just down to playing. I have done a lot of embossing folder painting. And, well, watercolour painting to be honest. So I've got, I've got a big puddle here on the tip so I'm going to take that out. Rip some of that colour. So you can see how quickly it's all going to come together once you've done all of the components but make sure you don't do this one like in between here until these two are absolutely dry because it'll just bleed into one and you'll lose the definition. What I do want to show you though is um, an alternative way. So if you like your clean red gorgeous poinsettia very traditional you don't want the wet in wet technique where you've got light and shade and halos but you want to paint one of these leaf the, one of these petals like really pristine you want the whole thing to be reds and burgundies i'm going to show you how you can do that as well so with these ones what we did was we wet the area didn't we and then we've sort of like dropped the color in and moved it around manipulated it a little bit and you get these sort of very forgiving bursts of color um on your card but what if you want sort of very, very um, clean, very realistic, not abstracty? Let me show you how I do it. So let's get some red. So I'll mix some red. You need quite a bit of pigment on your brush. You need to, it to be quite, quite bright, okay? This is red, red, okay? So all you do then on your embossing folder, let's pick a leaf that it might show better on. Let's go with this one here. I'm just tilting it up, sorry, just so hopefully you'll be able to see that. Just tilting it up because I'm going to do this one in the here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop some of the colour into the sort of tip of the um, petal, like so. Can we see that? They're very, very pigmented. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wet, clean brush, like so. Take a bit of water out. I'm just going to drag the colour out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the colour. And then I'm just going to pull that colour out. Okay. And just continue to clean my brush through the process so it goes light, dark to light. Okay. So again, super easy. I'm not teaching half of you anything you probably don't already know. So keep cleaning your brush. Take the excess water out. Just connect it to the colour and pull the colour out. Right, so I'd like this to be a little less liney. So I'm just going to pull that colour out a little bit further. Can you see how just pulling it out, pulling it out? Blend, circular motion, blend, blend, blend. You see that here? And then you can be, re if you want to be crea creative, if you want to be creative, you can actually add like pigment down the side. Just wait a second. So pigment down the side, just a little bit like so. And then clean brush, take out the excess water on your tissue, and then just circle motion into the colour and pull that colour through. Super easy.
Now this technique we've done absolutely loads of, so rather than spend too much time on it now, at least you have an idea of what I'm talking about when I say go and check out the rest of our videos because hopefully you'll be able to see that. Now if you're thinking it's too dark, again, wet your brush, take out the excess water and just remove some of the colour. It is that easy. <laughs> Lots of you crafting on with me, which is nice. So I'll just pull the colour out a bit further. And because we're working on watercolour card, we can manipulate it, we can play with it. Hopefully you'll be able to see that there. So you can see the difference, can't you? Oh, we love this one, dear. I like them all. I like them all. Good idea with the water, Jane from USA. Hi, sweetheart. Heidi's painting along, loving the technique. Now, another quick technique. So you've seen a couple of different ways on how to paint your leaves. And remember, let them dry before you do the connecting ones. But what I always find as well is when you do a halo around something. So if you add a touch of blue, it just makes it look a little bit more artistic. And the way that I do add the halo around is, again, I... Let's just mix some colour first. So I'm, I always do mine in a blue or a purple because they seem to give the best results. So I'm just mixing a bit of blue here, just on this base here. Clean my brush. And the way that I add the halo is the exact way that we've just done that um, leaf there. Now if you want to add more dimension to leaves and you're happy with what you've done, let it dry and then add more dimension as you go. These things, these sort of watercolour embossing folders don't happen in like 10 minutes. So if you're a fast crafter, you haven't got the patience, you're not into it really, it's probably not a good thing for you to do. But if you do like a little bit of mindfulness, you do want to do a bit of technique with your watercolour and you want to add a bit of light and shade, a bit of depth, then it's a great, great starting point, okay? So, let's just add a halo in this corner. So clean water up to the petal in the cracks and round so i add all water to all of the area i'm just going to do it to this little part at the bottom here so just some water all over so this is again the wet in wet and then i take the blue take the blue and just drop it into the very corner we we'll see that there the water's doing the work there can we see that there and into the corners here where I would like it to be the darkest into the corner here and then just let it do its thing for a second this is wet in wet this is why you get that burst of colour and then with a clean brush I'm just going to drag the colour out I'm not going to go right into the corner because I'd like it to be dark in the corner but I am going to at least try and drag that colour out So already you can see now the 3D embossing folder, it's popping from the page. And that's how you get your lovely halo around. If you want to make it a bit darker. Mix a bit more. Just add a bit more into the corner. Darker, darker, darker. Give it a, a second to do its magic. Oh, Roseanne often ruins hers when she adds the halo. The key to it is lots of water down first, okay? Take out some of that water and then we'll just pull it out a little bit, look. And then if you go back on top of, say for instance, you like let it dry, like this one, if you let it dry and then add another layer, it's what's known in the business, I, I believe. Uh, is it's known for called glazing so basically it's like layer building it's not hard um, and once you get your head around just let it if if you let the water do the talking um you're fine but if you're a bit precious about you know things running away with you a little bit the wet in wet technique's probably not a great one so here look add the water and then drop some blue see that there and you can just keep 
whilst it's wet you can add splats and let the splats starburst into the water you know, pull some of the pigment out if it's a little bit dark push it out and because you've got that water you're going to end up with a pretty halo around your work and then poinsettias when painted are going to pop from the page oh caroline oh, i'm sorry about that which video was that caroline the end of the video was missing did i need the toilet <laughs> so is everybody okay with that and you're all probably got your head down and painting but i just want to show you another lovely technique that you can do with this particular embossing folder bye karen uh, tea's nearly ready i know i'm getting quite hungry as well so that's i'll finish that i will finish it but think about tones of gray scale blues greens excuse me it's limitless really and to color that it would it would at least take me a solid hour just with my head down playing manipulating going back in adding a little bit darker in areas so one leaf looks like it's sat on top of the other so just have fun with it okay so they're just a few little tips for you um with using this embossing folder now if you are crafting along still craft along while i'm talking but don't forget to post your make when you're finished on a card maybe uh, and show me what your um you what you've been up to even if you don't think it's great still post it because the encouragement from others i find is amazing you know when i did this one with the green in the centers i sort of like fell out of love with it but then when i posted it and everybody said you know it looks great what's wrong with you yeah do you know what it's not a bad effort at all it's not brilliant it's not probably as good as i'd like but do you know what so what i enjoyed myself did you an hour yeah i know i just i would just get lost in it i do love to paint though um roxanne that's my problem right let me just show you a couple of other things then let me just move this water so i don't have an accident like that other lady i hope you're okay sweetheart so don't forget after i've gone off air to post a, me a comment because i'm giving these embossing folders away you're going to get a nice embossing folder before they actually go to telly so let's just clean our station now hopefully you'll be able to see this one a little bit better i did think about this before and you're also getting a sneak peek at something else as well i've shared and commented thank you and that's very kind it's beautiful tony i must try this do it with anybody's embossing folders just have fun so here is a black one look now this is hopefully you'll be able to see this one a bit better absolutely stunning and that's a deboss side look tell me if you can see it it was a poppy one tony oh i'm sorry i'll have to have a look at that right so i have done this technique before but i feel like you all need to be reminded so a white ink pad okay and i'm just going to take the white from an eyes ink ink pad pigment ink pad and i'm just going to brush some white on here so you can all see how gorgeous this is okay so let me just so circular motion circular motion circular can we see here so i'm just going to lightly brush this white over the whole embossing folder now these are quick cards really are quick cards so if you want in speed you don't quite want the painting side of things then you're going to love this technique and if you've got your eyes ink touch you could add little highlights with your eyes ink touch i wouldn't probably try and cover the whole embossing folder with your eyes ink touch because it will frustrate you because they're not for big areas but uh, highlights and if you've got a gold pigment eyes ink then you literally are going to be good to go so like so i mean look how amazing that bit of sparkle will literally good to go out so let's do this one too so just a light dust of the white onto the black circular motion here i'm not going to do the wispy bits i'm going to leave those mind you I'll, I'll do them so you can see them actually i think it'd be nice for you to see them so And then let's maybe should we just do a light dusting over so you maybe can get to see some of these so 
So I've got hardly no ink on this brush now. I'm just enhancing those little sprigs. And then we're just about done, ladies and gents. So I do want you to make sure that you post your makes from the painting. So uh, just a little technique is get your, your sponge loaded and wrap down the side, catch. And you can sort of like blend with your finger because it's pigment as well. So really catch the edges of the flowers because they're 3D. And so let's make them look even better than they actually are. I can see that there. I've just highlighted that area. So that just gives that extra 3D. catch the tips of those a few sparkles on here literally does that not look awesome so let me just make a quick card so I have some red let's see if I've got some glue to hand hopefully it's not blocked Now if you put white on your embossing, if you put this on, I've done these techniques, I do get carried away, I'm so sorry, I'm flitting from one technique to the next, but if you put this white onto your embossing folder and push it through the machine, this white goes on the recess of your 3D embossing folder and it looks awesome, absolutely awesome. Did you spray the black card before embossing it? I didn't darling, but sometimes um the card buckles doesn't it so if you pref if your machine needs a little bit of assistance by a little bit of spray of water i sometimes spray my die cuts with water you know because um it just loosens those fibers you know with those sometimes those tricky dies um because sometimes it's not the machine sometimes it's the card stock sometimes it is the machine and not the card stock and you'll never know i guess um so if you're having trouble with your die cuts at all, and I've, I have done a, a YouTube video on, you know, techniques for your die cuts, um, spray the cardstock with a bit of water. It breaks down the fibres, it comes out of your die like butter. So I'm just going to pop this onto the red here. Is that the right way? Did I cut it right, Tony? Let's have a look. So a nice bit of red, this is Christmas. Now a little sneak peek for you now. Looks frosty, Jane says. Thank you, Jane. Does I would literally get my glow on there now and add sparkle. It's dying for it, but I ain't got any in Studio 3, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Caroline's got the daisy embossing folder. She hasn't used it yet. It will work for this. Do it on black. Get a white or a gold or a silver. Shh, 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 shh up to go right so let's just stick this onto here i think my glue is a little bit blocked but it's taking some squeezing so have we all got our christmas colors ready for the new christmas launch oh my gosh it looks lush how quickly does the white dry? That's dry, I think. Yeah, it's dry. This is quite dry. This is the eyes ink embossing. They stay wet for longer, so you can throw your embossing powders on them. Oh, think about your embossing powders on them. I'll shut up now. Um, so I'll just stick this on here, and then lastly, oh, that red card could have been cut a bit straighter, Tony. My gosh. So I'll just stick this on here, so you can see there. So. It's not cut straight at all. Look at that. I'll not be giving this away. <laughs> and then check this out. So we have our snowflake words. Now you are getting a sneaky look here. So snowflake is in the name. Snowflake words. Let's stick this down. I'm not talking about them because you're going to get a preview. So, pop the J there. Let's pop the Y here. Let's 
as straight as you possibly can, Tony. That looks great. Not a bad effort, that. And then let's stick our snowflake on top of our snowflake. So these words, I'll, I'll just tell you a little bit about them. So they do come full words, but that each one comes with a decorative different snowflake. So you swap out the O for joy or the A for star or the O for Noel or... I'm not saying Noel, so I can't even hold... Tony is so naughty, I can't even hold me on water. I know, I'm sorry about me. Sorry about me. And then all you need to do is add some sparkle, which it absolutely needs it, doesn't it? Make sure it's as straight as you possibly can get it. Look at that. I mean, come on. Come on. And, no, I'm not going to say anything else. I was going to say something else then, but I can't give anything else away because we have a massive lunch. I even think TV might ask me to break it into two. They might ask me, can you do this half of the show on this date and another which means it'll be five. We'll see. I'll keep you posted all. I'll keep you all posted because it's so big. So there we go. What do we think to that? So that's that one. I'll not bring in the one that we haven't finished because that's just to give you the idea. So you've got two. Look how different they look as well. So this Mercy is what was in the show last week, which sold out. I think there might be some of the word dies left. So there we go. Two cards using the same embossing folder, but look completely different. Love it, love it, love it. There we go. Tony, I'm not saying anything. I'm getting in trouble. I haven't you said anything? Have I said anything? <gasps> Beautiful card, Tony. Can't wait for Christmas products. Yeah, they are so, so cool. Has anybody got any questions? Because I'm just about to wrap it up. I've got a couple of minutes. Any questions? I think you're all good, aren't you? Don't forget to post a comment underneath this video when I've gone off air because I'm giving the embossing folders away to one lucky winner. I am in studio on Friday at 1. If you want to share this video, that would be amazing. Angela, 100% amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Angela. That's really kind. Um, Doncaster show Sunday, 7pm Sunday night for a brand new launch. You'll have to tune in for that. I can't tell you what. I nearly told you. Do you know what? I'll tell you a story. A lady came today to the store. I don't even know if this lady's on or not. She came today. And one of the girls was packing the next launch. Oh my gosh, she was like, can I have it? I'm like, I'm so sorry, you can't. Everything's allocated. She's like, it's gorgeous. I'm like, oh. She's like, I can't believe I've seen it. Why have you put it in shot in vision to, for me to see? I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I've got so much going on at the shop. Absolutely so much going on at the shop. I can't even tell you what's going on at the shop. So I'm running about five big jobs at the moment, five massive things, and I can't even tell you about them. Or oh, what I can tell you is, oh, I don't know if I can, Karen might tell me off. We've got some new WoW colours for Christmas too. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go. Oh, and then we've got, no, I'm joking, I'm not going to say anything else. We need to find that lady <laughs> too. <gasps> find the lady yeah she asked for a couple of times oh, i'm so sorry if i had any i would probably let you have them because i just roll over every single time but you know i, I just couldn't i just couldn't and didn't have enough everything's allocated this was fun thank you heidi that's really kind so i hope you've had a lovely um evening with me i know it's not been much but it is really cool to know that how to paint an embossing folder and we've got about i would say probably 10 other videos of us painting embossing folders which you can go back and watch it's not something new it's been around for donkey's years everybody's now doing it you know so um if you put in um painting embossing folders into youtube and you're wanting more ideas and more there's lots of other youtubers doing lots and lots of lovely lovely tutorials and inspiration for you all so you know you can check those out too. Wow, lovely. Shirley loves the wows. Oh, Shirley, thank you so much for our lovely gifts today. I will message you. Tony Derek. Right, I'm going. So have a lovely evening. Whatever you're doing, I'm going. I've got to go before I get smacked, get spanked. 
by my design team. Their makes are amazing. I can't wait to show you all. Whatever you're doing, have a lovely evening and I will catch you all later. Don't forget to pop a comment underneath here. And I'll see you all Friday, 1 o'clock for something different. I'll see you all later. Bye.